Asia is a bright spot this quarter for sure, and that is definitely helped by uh, China. In fact, our meet, Michelle and I were all in China uh, just a couple of weeks ago. It was my first time there in three and a half years, and it's back. And our China business is back, and in fact, the head of expectations, um, we have taken our expectations for Asia up for the second half of the year, in part largely driven by the strength that we're seeing in China. Um, and that will help offset this weakness, partially offset this weakness that we're seeing in U.S. wholesale. I'm very, very optimistic about China. Um, some of this is for sure kind of pent up demand from the lockdowns. There's no question about that. And I just have to say on the human side of things, hearing some of the stories from our employees about what they went through during lockdown was just it was hard. And now we are seeing the post-lockdown um, spending spree as consumers come back. And that is definitely lifting our business and contributing to the strength that we're seeing in China. Um, so we're very optimistic about China and about Asia all overall. Um, and yeah, we're, we're putting our chips on the table in, in these markets that are really growing. Latin America being the other big uh, growth engine this past uh, uh, quarter from an international standpoint. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.